Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> I did that for you, Dakota. I miss you guys. Um, I've gotten a couple messages over the past three weeks about how to make fry bread or, you know, scone dogs. You guys are missing your comfort food. I totally get it. So we're going to do a quick video on how to make, um, like I said, fry bread and scone dogs. So what I did so far is I have four cups of flour in my bowl here. I'll put this down. So I have four cups of flour already in here. And then for each cup of flour, I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of baking powder. And the trick is after you get your baking powder in, it's all about mixing it really well before you add the water. So I'll mix this for a few minutes. And I just want to remind you guys, um, there are resources still available at the school. We have our counselors on staff. We have our um, student success officers. It's myself and Crystal. So if you if you guys are you know struggling or need help with something, definitely reach out. We're here for you guys still. Um, like I said before, we miss you guys like crazy. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. So I'm going to mix this for a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of dig in the middle. The middle out. So then what you're going to do is you're going to add two cups of hot water to the middle. And then kind of bring it down so all that flour gets wet. So after the flour soaks up most of that water, what you're going to do is grab another cup and a half of hot water. And kind of pour that on and mix again. Oh, and before you start, you, you need to turn on your, your oil so it's nice and warm. So I have mine on about six. And then you're also going to get a plate with some flour on it. Just, you can do it on the counter too, but it gets messy like that. So I just use a plate. And then from there, you're going to scoop on to the plate. And kind of move that around a bit. And pat off the ex pat off the extra flour there. And then once your grease is warm enough, you can add it into the grease. So that's how you make fry bread. So for a scone dog, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that bowl. Take some, some of the dough on there, on the plate, flatten it out a bit. And then you're gonna put your dog in the bread, dough. Kind of make sure it's all closed up around the, the hot dog when you add it in. So I'll bring this closer just so you can see. Usually you let that cook until it gets brown on the one side. And you can see the fry bread, it kind of bubbles up in the middle. So what you want to do is just kind of stab it to make sure it cooks all the, all the way through the middle. Is 
Isn't it satisfying listening to that? So again, just to go over instructions, you have four cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder for every cup. Um, some people put salt and sugar in it, I don't. Um, and then for four cups of flour, I'd put about three and a half cups of hot water because you're going to fry it, so you want the water hot. This is taking a little bit. So again, just another reminder to students, you know, if you're struggling, reach out. <clears throat> There's all the resources are still available. Um, we're just doing remote access, of course. So over the phone, video chatting, um, even if you just want to, you know, message and say, hey, definitely do that. Like I said, we miss you guys like crazy. So I think this one's ready to flip over. A little bit light but usually the first batch they're pretty light so again just after they get brown flip them um, take them off let them cool and that my friends is how you make bannock and scone dogs thanks for listening bye